All right, time for a little battery drive test with higher weapon speeds and a debrief. So as we can plainly see, the bot has no shortage of destructive weapon power. For most of these tests, I was running at about 30% or less weapon speed. However, it has a few design flaws. For one, it cannot remain stable if I spin up too fast. From some Facebook discussion, this may be due to the weapon being very long and thin, with not as much weight distributed over one axis as it has over the other axis. I might be able to use alternative weapon designs to reduce this issue. Second, occasionally a hit will make the bot glance off at an upward angle and it can flip over. Not much I can do about that besides self writing Third, the bot doesn't drive very fast. This is an issue I was aware of from the start, but I think in a real competition it won't be as big of a deal, since an opponent kinda needs to drive into my bot to get at me, so they can take care of all the forward velocity that's needed for bite. It wouldn't be worth the intensive redesign needed to fit faster drive motors in place of servos, but I might be able to look into faster existing servo models. The fourth, and in my opinion biggest issue, is that simply, as of now, I can't self-write. My tests with a plastic weapon were deceiving, as that resulted in the bot having an incredibly low center of gravity, whereas now, the center of gravity is just above the lid of the chassis. There are a few ways I can address this, but the easiest is adding a writing arm of sorts off the shoulder bolt, similar to the design of Bloodsport, which I plan to design and test over the next week or so. I also can add some startup power to the weapon motor and limit its acceleration in the ESC programming settings, which should prevent spinning out of control too easily, and allow me to get it out of a bind more easily as well. For more on that, check out my BL Heli programming guide video linked in the card above. You can expect another video update soon on my progress designing and testing various self-writing arms and poles, and possibly a few alternative weapon blades that could help with stability. If you want to see more about my progress on this bot, be sure to like and subscribe. Also comment if you have any questions or concerns, and I'll be happy to discuss down below. I'm still definitely planning to release the full design for this robot in the near future once I'm happy with it, and an updated weapon bar CAD file is already available from my web store linked below. This bot should only require a 3D printer, soldering tools, and some common hobby components that anyone can source online to replicate. A full bill of materials is available in the description already, and I've designed it specifically to keep this relatively affordable for a competitive US antweight combat robot. Thanks for watching! Be sure to check out my Instagram for more sneak peeks of what's to come, and I'll be sure to have more content for you guys next week.